Hi viewers, your seven thank you van official once again here. I was in Takradi in December to witness the West Side Carnival, uh, street carnival, and it was such an experience. I also had an opportunity to visit a beautiful town known as Princess Town, formerly called Pakazu. Intro. Princess Town, formerly known as Pakazu, is located in a Hunter West district of the western region of Ghana. It falls between Azim in the west and Sekendi Takradi in the east. Per the last census in 2011, the population was 28,335 people. Charlie, the place they be as well. And one of the most important things we I see they say Charlie, then get some fault for there. I be you know say any coastal area area there. We one of our fathers they then colonize them. But you know what? They turn their fort into one of the best things I've ever seen. Renting it as guest house for people far and near to come and witness and even feel the environment. Let's hear the history of the fort. You're welcome to Princess Town. Here is called Fort Groot Fredersburg. It was built by the Germans in 1683. Before this fort, the village was there before the Germans arrived. The name of the village is called Pakazo. Now Princess Town. Why Princess Town? It's all about the fort. When the Germans came, the chief of Pakazu told the, the Germans they should not buy any slave. That is, the, there is an argument between the local people and then the Germans. So it came to the point that the chief said they should not buy any slave from the community. So the Germans agreed and they joined the agreement that the local people should not sell their goods to other captains of the ship, only Germans. So that brought the relationship between the locals and then the Germans. So they started building and when they were building this fort, there is no access to cement. So they pick a lot of shells, they burn it to become white powder. They mix the powder with clay, palm oil and lime as a mortar. If you look through the wall, you can see all the materials. So the whole thing is not made up of cement, it is clay, shells and then palm oil. So, when the Germans complete the fort, they named the fort to honor Prince Frederick William. So, when our local people are coming to sell their goods, they use the name Prince to represent the town. I'm going to Prince Town. I'm going to Prince Town. That's why now you have Princess Town, but because it's no more. So, the Germans stayed for 33 years, from 1683 up to 1716, then they left. When they left, they sold the fort to Dutch without Nana's knowledge. So, they sold it. Uh, to the Dutch, they now did not know that they have sold it. So when the Dutch came, it generated a conflict between them. 
So they fought and then now overcame the Dutch at that time. That is 1717. So the leader of the Dutch was called Van der Hoven. He managed himself, swam back to the boat and then went back. So seven years later, the Dutch came. This time round, well prepared. So uh, Nana ran from this place to Kumasi to mobilize some warriors and then come back to, to this place. But Ashanti to the, took the offer, refused to come. So then Nana did not return to Bakazu again. So when the, that took place, they renovated the fort and renamed the fort Fort Hollandia. The name was not famous. Why? Because Fredericksburg have gone to far places than Hollandia. Now, the Dutch are buying the slave from the community. So the community decided if the Dutch are buying our people, you will not give them water for taking shower and for cooking. So the Dutch connected all the roofing with pipes. So when it is raining, they harvest the rain and you have a place to store the rainwater. After that, you still depend on the Dutch water constructed in the year 1724. They, that spent quite a long time and they also sold the fort to British, that is £100,000 and leave the Gold Coast for good. So the British also took over, they were doing the same thing, they were buying gold and every at the same time slave, till slavery activity was abolished, that is 1865. And when slavery activity has been abolished, all the fort and castle were abandoned because the purpose is no more. So Ghana became uh, independence, and then we have uh, Fort and Castle, tourist sites, some places, guest house as well. So this is a short story about Fort Groot, Fredericksburg. the history you've just heard it's not just about hearing i go urge each and every individual out here to go there and have the experience by themselves charlie the first say white man take lime give we i did like the first say the people of pakazu or princess town currently turn them into uh, lime juice they've turned it into a lime juice they are still using the water that have been stored or uh, over the years and they are still enjoying whatever the people gave them over the years. I recommend you to visit Pakazu, not just Pakazu, but Tadi as a whole, to experience their next Westside Carnival. With this, we out.